Hey everybody, this is Andre here covering for Kevin on the Kevin Breeze channel, and in this video, we're going to be going over some tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Motorola Moto G9 Plus. Let's get started. So these days, more and more Android phones are using the gesture navigation, but some people might miss the old 3 button system. Let me show you how to get that back. So you're going to want to go into settings right here, and then look up navigation. Right here, go to System Navigation. Right now we have Gesture Navigation selected and you're going to want to hit the 3 button navigation. And then those old Android buttons that everyone knows and loves are going to come back up. If you like the 3 button navigation, then definitely you can use it. But if you like Gesture Navigation, you can still use that as well. It really depends on what you want. Now to take a screenshot, normally you're going to be holding down the Power and Volume Down buttons to get the screenshot. But let me show you an even more convenient way to do it. So you're going to go to settings again, hit the search bar, type gestures. And right here, you're going to hit three finger screenshot. So what this does is allow you to take a screenshot instead of pressing the external buttons, just by holding three fingers spread apart a little on the screen for a second. So once this is activated, all you need to do is put three fingers on the screen spread a little bit apart for a second, and the screenshot will be taken. This is the battery bar on the screen. As you can see here, there's no percentage unless you pull it down like this. Now that might work for some people who want a more minimalistic look, but you might want the battery percentage on there so you can get a better idea of where the charge is at. Let me show you how to get it. So you're gonna go to settings again. This time hit battery, and right here you can toggle the battery percentage on and off. As you see now, it is on and the battery percentage is on the normal screen. Another cool thing you can do is go to usage details, and this will show you which apps you use that drain most of the battery. If your battery is being used up fast and you need to see why, then you can go to this section to see which apps are taking up the most battery power. Another thing I like on here is the adaptive battery. With this mode on, it'll limit the usage of the battery for a lot of apps that you don't typically use that run in the background. And this is just another way to optimize your battery usage and get the most out of your battery life. If you're ever in a situation where you're running out of power and don't have the chance to plug in your phone at the moment, you can turn on Battery Saver, and this will put your phone into a low power mode that conserves your battery even more. Do you ever get in a situation where you need to quickly capture a moment or something that's going on and need to open your camera fast? Well, let me show you how to make this even easier. So in the gestures menu again, you're gonna hit jump to camera and turn this on. Once the feature is activated, all you need to do to open the camera is double press the power button. Now, if you have multiple apps that use the camera, it's gonna ask which one you want to open when you double tap the power button. If you use Snapchat a lot, then this might be a really good time for you to select Snapchat. And that way, if you ever need to take a snap really fast, then you can always just double tap the power button and it'll open right up. But again, once the app is selected, you can be on any screen and all you need to do is double tap the power button and the camera will open right up. Another cool way to open your camera really fast is the quick capture feature. You're gonna go into the gestures menu to select this as well. And once it's activated, all you need to do to turn on your camera, as this little diagram shows you, is go like this. So one thing that happens to everybody at least once in a while when you're using your phone that's super annoying is when you're trying to do something, whether it's reading or showing somebody something, and the screen just falls asleep on you. Let me show you how to avoid that. So you're going to go to settings again, and this time hit display. Go to advanced, and right here you'll see the screen timeout options. Now you can do it as short as 15 seconds or as long as 30 minutes. I would definitely suggest to play around with it and see what one works best for you. Another thing I want to go over real quick is how to turn on your flashlight faster. Normally what you'll do is swipe down here and press this button right here. But a faster way to do it, you're going to go into settings, look up gestures again. And then you're going to turn on fast flashlight. Once that's activated, all you're going to do to turn on your flashlight is go like this. And then to turn it back off, do the same thing, and it'll turn off. Now, as much as we all love getting notifications, sometimes they can be a little much, especially when you're trying to concentrate on something. You might want to turn your phone on Do Not Disturb mode, which you can easily do through the settings, but let me show you a more convenient way to turn it on and off. 
So you're gonna to go to the settings menu as usual and type flip for DND. It pops up right here. Once you have this activated, all you need to do to turn on do not disturb is put your phone face down. You're gonna hear it vibrate and that's how you know it's on. When you're ready to go back to normal, all you need to do is pick your phone up. You'll feel it vibrate again and that's how you know it's back to normal. This can be especially useful if you're trying to avoid turning on do not disturb mode and not realizing that it's still on and then accidentally having your notifications off the whole time. Now the keyboard for this phone is really great, but a lot of people really wish it had a dedicated number row to type easier. Let me show you how to get that. You're gonna go to settings here and preferences and then turn on the number row. Once that's on, you'll have a dedicated number row. The keyboard settings actually have a bunch of different unique things you can personalize. You can change the theme of the keyboard and you can even download new themes. And of course you can change things like voice typing and autocorrect as well. Now the last thing I wanna go over is some of the home settings. Now normally you can change the home screen settings through the normal settings menu itself, but a quicker way to get to this is to press and hold one finger on the screen. When you do that, it's gonna come up with all kinds of home settings. You can change a bunch of different things from the general home settings to even the wallpaper and the style of the home screen. Now I think this is really cool, even though it's not altogether necessary, it's a really convenient way if you wanna rearrange your home screen or change the appearance or do anything else involving the home screen, you can easily do it just from the phone just by pressing and holding your finger and I think that's really cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Motorola Moto G9 Plus and found some of them useful as well. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.